Good morning, everybody. Today is day three, you can see, of Purpose Driven Life. And today we talk about um, motivation, what motivates your life. Everyone has some kind of motivation. Um, everyone's life is driven by something. What is the driving force in your life? Uh, Thomas Carlyle said, the man without a purpose is like a ship without a rudder, a waif, a nothing, a no man. And so today we're going to uh, talk about how important is purpose in your life. And the whole uh, point of this book is, um, is a purpose-driven life or what on earth am I here for? This great question. And first we're going to talk about some bad motivations, but very common motivations. There's five motivations that people have that are not the best motivations and can be very destructive in life. And one is guilt. You know, people that are living their life out of guilt from something from their past and it, it sort of um, it motivates them, but it's not a very healthy motivation. They're trying to always thinking about something from their past and they feel um, shame or regret. And then they just become identified and controlled by their past. So it sort of shapes their life. A second one, powerful motivation is anger where people just carry anger with them for years and they it sort of begins to define them and they remember something that was done to them and they're mad about it and if you talk to them very long they're going to bring it up or if you get to know them it's going to be a, a marker in their life and they're holding on to something and just can't seem to to let it go a third um, improper motivation would be fear and someone that's just always afraid of what's going to happen uh, very fearful and um, can't seem to get past and they're always worried and thinking about well this could happen this could happen so they they can't go forward because of these fears that they're holding inside of them fourth motivation that we see a lot would just be materialism the love of things love of money i want more i want more and that's a powerful motivation but it's not a healthy motivation and the last one we all experience this last one is called approval we do things, we want people to think well of us, and so we're um, trying to get applause. We love that feeling, and someone says, oh, you're great, and you did such a great job, and and then that motivates us every day. And so many people um, are driven by these five purposes. There are others, but these are five very common um, motivations that end up not being very healthy. Uh, now I want to talk about five motivations uh, for that are that are wonderful, and or I want to talk about five reasons why having one motivation that and that is well I'll talk about that at the very last thing, but here's five benefits of living your life for a healthy purpose for a great goal for a great cause. Um, number one, knowing your purpose brings meaning to your life it brings meaning it's like why am I here to discover that purpose for your life brings everything into line and it brings meaning so you can wake up every day and you can know what you're striving for and that it's the most worthy cause then that can bring purpose to your whole life knowing your purpose number two brings uh, it simplifies your life too many things going on that's a common response everyone has how are you doing busy 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 and sometimes that busyness is um, being driven by too many purposes or maybe the wrong purpose or um, or there might just be busy seasons in our life but knowing why we're here brings simplicity we can be uh, simple it's like why am I here to do this every day why am I here to do this and it brings simplicity it simplifies your life Knowing your purpose, number three, brings focus. It brings focus to your life. Um, it helps you see how to stay on track. People come up and say, oh, will you do this? Will you do this? Oh, here's this idea. Advertisements come on. Oh, you can do this. Try this. Have this. And it says, no, that would be a distraction for my calling on my life. And so it brings focus. And knowing your purpose, number four, brings uh, motivation. You're motivated. 
I'm sure you've seen some of those documentaries on Olympic athletes whenever the Olympics show, and it shows how motivated these people were and how focused they were and how simple their life was. They had one goal, and that's to make it to the Olympics and win a gold medal. And it brings such clarity and focus and inspiration, and it motivates them. They're inspired, and they just keep thinking about it. They're trudging through those long, hard workouts, and they are inspired by this goal. And having a, a purpose in life, also the right purpose prepares you for eternity. And to, how sad to spend your whole life on one of the, the wrong motivations, the first five we mentioned, and make no preparation for, for eternity. Eternity is forever. Our lives are just a, a little, little dot and then forever. And so people spend all their focus on the little dot and they not pay attention, and they come to the end of their life, and they've made no preparation for eternity. And so, in a nutshell, what drives your life? What is your motivation? What is it that motivates you in life and makes you wake up in the morning, identifies your character, defines who you are, um, frees you from past guilt and anger, materialism, always trying to find approval. What, what could it be? Well, here's a clue as we go forward. Real simple. Matthew 22, a man came up to Jesus and asked him about the greatest commandment. And Jesus gave him such a clarifying statement. Love God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. There is no greater motivation in life. And this whole book is talking about how to help us do that. Is that something you want to be part of? Well, then keep listening and you'll get to experience uh, what it means to have a life, living a life full of purpose in preparation for eternity. God bless you and go have a great day.